Yeah, the same relic. The also the super generic relic. This. Use it on anything in the game. If a defense does damage, you can put that relic on it and win maps. That was what I was using on the dragons yesterday. It's just an incredibly powerful combo for for Chaos Town. No, dragons don't need piercer. It's a AoE explosion, fireball explosion. Nothing needs piercer in Chaos Town. There's no geodes. And since it's a fireball explosion, the um, the vanguard still just die uh, from the blast. Anything that has an AoE burst, like if there was geodes, the projectiles would bounce. But any projectile that has an AoE burst will trivialize vanguards. Volcano and obelisk, right? Keep the DU, the, get the DU left over on every map. Get you, get you a volcano and obelisk down, right? I mean, dragons are just powerful. They've always been. They've always been really good. Well, I mean, you just got to remember what it is. It's a projectile. Piercer mod makes projectiles pierce. Dragons are flying out to their target. So even like for a, if there was a geode, a dragon could potentially fly inside of the geode and just start blasting, you know? It's not shooting a projectile from range. Yeah, dragons are really good. I use dragons a ton in Chaos 9. Um, until I got uh, Fisher set up and then just spammed Fishers. But dragons are incredible. But absolutely great defense. It's a free-to-play game. That's you pay for them with real money. That's the monetization system. Uh, surreal. You can save up defender medals and buy uh, heroes with defender medals, or you can do exclamation DD2 in chat and win that giveaway because there's heroes in that right now. Uh, everything is good. Is it set up properly? It'll be good. Is it not set up properly? It won't. See, look at this. This is the hero damage. I got no hero damage on this guy. It's all ability power. And this is the hero damage uh, build. I mean, obviously, it's not nuking it. But I have no hero damage, you know? You get 450 um, for doing the first three adventure maps.
I'll just switch her back over to hear her damage and blast them. Or switch back over to ability power, pardon me. Thanks for following Air Surreals. Duddy plays, appreciate it, y'all. Yep, Xbox is live. Everywhere's live now. It's out on all the things. That tavern chest in DDA is going to be incredible. Uh, there's no doubt there. That's going to be so, so nice. I kind of hope he gets it going before the update launches, but he said he probably won't. Yeah, I'm going to have to get up in my ISP's butt today. Got your kids updating it while you're at work. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, nothing has changed in DD2 in many, many years. There was things added, but all the old stuff still works. So there's been no changes, only additions. The new enemies are a souped up Berserker Lady Orc, a souped up Orc and a souped up goblin, basically. Tuscar, you can't do nothing to that wall. The mall's pretty incredible. Then it's got that petrify too. So not only is it super, super fat, but it's got petrify on it. Best way to get gold is grind expeditions, and if you find anything good, sell it to other players. But grinding expeditions in a four player group is the fastest way to get gold. I'm very tempted about um, about trying to put together a hero damage set for this guy. I do feel like the play style would get boring after a while, but I think it will be super fun for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, I used archers too. Everything. It's that's the meta, y'all. It's not any rocket science whatsoever. It's walls plus your favorite defenses. Use some walls, use your favorite defenses. That's 
100% what this update is all about. Is it's they should have not called it the Chaos 10 update. They should call it the diversity update because it allows you to use pretty much whatever defense you want. Just use walls. Can you brute force it and not use walls? Of course you can. You got enough power, you can brute force anything. But as a general rule, if you use walls, you're gonna be able to put any defenses you want to work. And that is something that Dungeon Defenders 2 has desperately needed for a long, long, long time. So, I mean, in that aspect of it, I think this is the best update that DD2 has had in probably at least like four or five years. Just good, good stuff. The Abyss Lord walls are super good, too. The Skeletal Orcs, they're just really, really good. So, definitely nothing wrong with doing some, uh, having some Abyss Lord fun, for sure. Thanks for subscribing there, Kelson. I appreciate it. We needs us a DST, uh, IHDC, or LULZ, if any of y'all are watching. Give us DST, then, then stuck mobs won't be near as irritating. <laughs> Just look at the helpful links, uh, channel in discord quicksilver every hero is listed there there's a link for builds and there's a link for active dps heroes let's look at that and that will give you a rough idea on what you want for any defense Miss uh, explosive archer. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> There's tutorials on my YouTube channel and all that stuff. A lot of people assume that because of those tutorial videos, several of them are like four or five years old, that they no longer count. It's the exact same stuff. So yeah, champion score is only your uh, new relics are counted in that. I mean, considering this is a pretty janky build that I'm using here right now, it seems to be working fairly well. I mean, I don't feel like super, super powerful, but I feel like I could kill anything and not have an issue. And we have a flyer die bomb us. Must have been. All we got left is the stuck beds now anyway. Right. So I'm gonna hop back on out to tavern, and uh, anybody that wants to see anything, now's the time. 